this is what the world's come to now. Is it good? Or is it bad? Only one way to find out. But this... This is definitely next on my movie watching list. Hello random person, Sab Nino here, and today I'll be talking about the new Teen Titans Go movie, Teen Titans Go to the movies. Well, that's redundant. A lot of people had mixed reactions at the trailer, but it had around 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, I was intrigued on what this movie would be like. Unfortunately, I was born at the wrong time, so I didn't grow up with the original Teen Titans. But though I'm not a fan of Teen Titans Go, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I just think their focus is in the wrong place. So, I understand what Teen Titans Go is like, but still need to watch the original. So I do have a good understanding of what the characters are like, but still, I know it's a good show. Now that that explains my experience with the franchise, let's get started. You expected me to say Titans Go, didn't ya? They're really making movies about every superhero! The plot is quite meta. It's about the Teen Titans, mostly Robin, trying to get their own movie by having Slade as their villain. But apparently after just one fight, the director lets Robin get his own movie since the Titans are too lowbrow and immature. But spoiler alert, the director was Slade the whole time, trying to create a hypnotic streaming service. And a climax, and the ending does nothing. Though, it's decent for cinematic quality, it's pretty bare bones, and is mostly an excuse for jokes. Some scenes felt like filler, but if you're interested in a plot-related movie, you'd be disappointed. You guys are goofsters. You know, with the farts. Always cracking the jokes. Since the plot is pretty bare bones, but also kind of clever, what about the comedy? Mixed. To be fair, there were some jokes I laughed hard at. The story of Batman's greatest ally, Alfred the Movie. It's time to clean up this city. But on the other side of the spectrum... So it ranges from very well written and clever to mediocre jokes, all the way to frustrating. And due to this, it doesn't do the plot any favors. Some scenes I caught myself zoning out due to how bland they were. But well, luckily I watched this movie twice, so don't worry. Why don't they take us seriously? Some of it worked, but some of it just sounds like a fan fiction trying to be edgy. Some of it can be heartfelt, but nothing along the lines of Inside Out or Big Hero 6. But some of it just felt forced and cliche. Not much to say other than the fact that it's just little sprinkles on the big cake. We say brew for design! I'm not gonna separate protagonist and antagonist since there's only one villain. Robin is selfish, but is a leader mostly acting like a kid when they see someone who can draw and being all like, Can you draw me? Can you draw my butt? Cyborg is just that one guy who casually joins the conversation. Beast Boy is just edgy hipster boy. Starfire is the klutzy of the girl who the constantly says the the in every of the sentences. And Raven is meant to be the edgy voice of reason, but they often forget that, making her act as silly as the rest of the cast, which I'm not a fan of. Slade is just the villain Deadpool, which I think works very well. The director is pretty much substitute Amy Poehler, but she turns out to be Slade. And the DC properties are just used for meta jokes. Just like the comedy, this part is mixed too. <gasps> yeah, there's actually songs in this. Three of them, actually. Teen Titans rap wasn't good the first time, but when it came back, it worked even better. So, it's a good song in certain context. Upbeat motivational song is very 80s and very easy to dance to with very interesting graphics. The Come See This song in the dream sequence is pretty much just a parody of the Lion King intro. 
and my movie is fun minus the forced butt joke, but is nothing special minus the art style shift. The songs for the most part, and the score in general, has a pretty big 80s vibe. So if you're not enjoying the movie, at least they got a good soundtrack on their hands. We're taking you down. How are you gonna do it? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fart on me? You wanna have a dance off? Are you gonna annoy me to death with your waffles? The designs are fine, the backgrounds are great, and certainly is an upgrade from the series, but I don't think it's cinematic quality. Probably due to the fact that this is probably the first theatrical film I know that uses tweening, and it just looks cheap and stilted. Some of the scenes look better than others, but sometimes it just takes me out of the experience all like, wait, this is just a TV movie for theaters. However, the music videos are where the animation shines. Overall, they could have done better. Teen Titans Go to the Movies is a mixed bag of plot and comedy. Pretty much just looking at the title alone says what you're in for. If you like the show, you might enjoy it, but if not, it's not worth paying money for. And I personally think the Rotten Tomato score is a little too generous. What would I give it? A 5 out of 10. Probably the perfect rating for this movie the way I see it. Since it's 50% good, 50% terrible, creating an overall mixed experience. So let me know what you thought of this movie, and join me next time where I talk about- <laughs>